Hello guys, welcome to this quick five minute tutorial of voice meter banana. Now let's go through the use cases. Say you're trying to play a game and use Discord at the same time and you're trying to manually control volume from the mixer for each one of them. Now the audio can be split for the game and Discord. So your Discord volume will always be higher compared to all your games instead of manually doing one by one. Uh, the other scenario is if you're trying to isolate audio, say if you're trying to stream and you don't want to stream your Discord audio to your Twitch streamers or YouTube streamers, you can use the same method. So without further ado, let's get to it. Step one, download voice meter. Link is in the description. Once installed, type in system sounds on the stat menu, then hit the playback button and then set voice meter input as default sound and then voice meter aux input as default communication device. Now on the recording tab, you need to select voice meter output as the default device. That's all you need to do. Now the basic setup of voice meter banana is in three steps. First, select your outputs. That's on the top right. So select the A1. If you have only one device, that's all you need to do. But if you have, say, a front audio and a rear audio, and maybe an external DAC, maybe you want to select more. You can also select a Bluetooth headset there if it's available. All the devices that you select on the top right will play simultaneously or settings of your choosing. Now the three inputs that you're seeing on the left are your uh, hardware inputs. So you can select your physical microphones. So I have one which is called Blue Snowball. I just selected that and then I, I've selected B1 so it outputs to voice meter. Once you've selected the microphone and the output devices, it's all a matter of volume adjustment as per your personal preference. Now you can use Windows Mixer to select which applications will go through which audio. So by default, all the games and all audio will go through voice meter input, which is the first one on the left. And then if you select Discord or any communication services app, as we selected default earlier, we'll use the higher volume and you can change any other applications that you want to add that to the list. So we're using Google Chrome here, watching a YouTube video. If it's playing too low, you can go to mixer options and add that to voice meter aux and now that will also play at a higher volume while rest of the system sounds games all the other stuff that plays in the background will use voice meter input last thing you can do is add an eq you can add eq to the mic as well as the headphones so use the EQ button on the right or just right click it and set the EQ as required the other thing you can do is monitor mic output on your headphones so you can listen to what you're saying. Just go to your input and select A1 or A2 depending on where you want to listen to. For me it's A1 for my headphones so now my mic is looping back on my headphones as well as outputting to the people who are listening. So when I'm on Discord other people can actually hear what I'm saying as well as I can hear a copy of it so I can know if there's a background noise going through it or if I'm streaming, I can actually see the mic levels as well as if there is a problem with the mic, I can instantly detect it because the input will stop working. As always, if you have any trouble with voice meter banana, you can click on the menu button on the right and click on restart audio engine and it will do that. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching this video. If you have questions, leave it in the comments. Hit that thumbs up button if you liked it. Share with your friends. Don't forget to check out my other videos up here and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.